Hello and welcome to this edition of Tips and Tricks. Now today I'm going to be talking about the should be's of bass fishing. I might hear this all the time from fishermen, from regular fishermen, from beginning fishermen, from pros. It's always, oh, the fish should be here because the water's this temperature. Oh, the wind's blowing like this, the fish should be right here. Or, oh, it's, you know, it's middle of winter and it's sunny on this side, the fish should be over there. Or the fish should be hitting a crank in these conditions. Or the fish should be hitting, you know, spinner baits or jerk baits. Or the should bees are nice, but the should bees are just—they're the perfect ideal condition. I mean, I guess, like I said, I get so many people, and I'll be fishing and catch fish a certain way, and all of a sudden they'll show up and be like, "Oh my God!" And you know, they have all these certain baits rigged up, and they're like, "Yeah, these these fish should be right here on this point, and these bass." They should be hitting these jigs and should be this, should be that. And then they go and fish and they don't catch anything. And I'm catching them on something totally different. I mean, yeah, the should be's are nice. It's a good place to start, but I just go and figure it out. I mean, some of the examples, when I went flipping the last few days on my boat, water rose, had been sunny days. Sunny side, didn't catch anything. Shady side, caught fish. The bass should be on the sunny side in winter, according to the should be's. But no, I come on the shady side. And there's other times, spring, you get into like April, and people come and they're like, oh, it's April, the water's 65, bass should be on the nest, they should be coming up. And they're like looking around, like, I don't see any, I see a nest, but I don't see any fish on them, what's going on, this is where they should be on the net. Yeah, well, that year it was warm and the water had been close to 65 since the end of February. A lot of those fish had already spawned out. But, or, or it's that way and they come in March and say, oh, these fish should be feeding up for the pre-spawn. I'm like, I'm already getting them off nests. And I'm getting some that have already spawned out because their tails are all dirty. So I'm just saying, I mean, the should be's are nice. Just use them as a general starting area. I mean, my philosophy when I go, I mean, yeah, it should be, but there's so many conditions. The color of the water, how cold it's been, how much rain it's been, all this stuff that make the should be's a lot of times, probably 95% of the time, not be a should be. <laughs> so like I said, just follow them in general, but just fish and figure it out. I mean, if the water, just go by your instincts, look at the water, look at the way it is, the time of year, the water temperature, and yeah, start maybe where the should be's, but if they're not there, don't just say, oh, they're not biting. Start fishing around, start trying to figure out what they are doing. I mean, I watch Bassmaster, or read Bassmaster, Dan the Lake, and those pros always, right off the bat, say all the stuff about where they should be. They've been checking the weather, they've been checking all this stuff. 5% of the time they find them there, 95% of the time they have to scramble and figure out what the fish are doing, because the should be's didn't work. I hope this helps. Until next time.